point, this is going to be bad, isn't it? So for those who are watching this from the very beginning, and I imagine there might be a few of you, I do not in fact have time to make a full video. So you're getting a stream of where we last left off. That will be a bit of interest, because obviously where I last left off was the end of a battle. So we are fully behind the last battle. We are fully doing that. And, you know, it's going well. It's going well. Currently going well. So hopefully, good things come to those who wait. And what are we waiting for? I don't bloody know anymore. Let's just bring up the chat. Who cares? Uh, so yeah, I'm very, very, very behind on the whole uh, Cosmeteer stuff, as you can probably tell. I'm actually making uh, guides, so I'm now trying to make those as well. But yeah, I'm a little bit behind. So this will take place of today's episode. For those who are watching, this is today's episode. If this, if anyone turns up to the stream, which is very impromptu, hello, welcome to today's episode. We will see. Because obviously right now, I am still heavily salvaging. What does that mean? It means I'm hanging out here. I am deep space explorationing. I am currently here in the map. I'd like to be here at the Feeple because I'm ending this either Sunday or Monday, and we have a war to win. Are we winning the war, son? Not so much. Right now we have the Temujin with a guy running around it. It's full of other people we're ignoring. They refuse to leave because there's no door. We also have a crew member on the Satan, so we're looting that. And I think on the other Satan, too, over here. So we have a little bit of looting going on. It is what it is. Now, people said, why do you look at the amount of resources left? As entire chunks of ship. Also, there's a... <laughs> just keeps going. There's a bit of slowdown going on. You may or may not see that. Let me just quickly uh, bring up my chat so I can see what's being said. Which chip zoomed out? But yeah, this will be a couple of hours of me streaming this because I literally do not have the time to record. Hello, Spiky. Oh dear. So the station is here. All of my fleet is here apart from these three which are over here. To bring them over as well. Uh, the grand scheme of things, I have lost a lot. An awful lot. Obviously, the ostrich is still here. We're currently rearming, reloading, and repairing. My ship designs, there's a load of different fighters over here. I went through an entire phase of doing fighters. Everyone keeps telling me, and I find this hilarious because I said they're expendable and I don't care. They can't be expendable. Resources are expensive. I have 1.3 million and I can go back to the previous sector and buy more crew and ships. These are expendable, like 60k each. I could make a hundred I could make ten of these at 600 k and still not care if they all died. Because I'm gathering enough resources, as you can see, to make hundreds of them. Bloody hell, it's taking forever. Like look at the inside of this. Look at how many reactor components or enriched uranium I have. We are happy, we are full, and we are uh, struggling. Now, luckily, okay, I have a load more react. I have a load more frigates as well. Now, we have a full assault force going on. We have like six frigates. We have uh, unknown fighters. I could probably do a couple more needles for actual full on engagement. I'm still not a big fan of the design. But yes, yeah, needles are six men, fighters are three to four men, depending on how I feel. Frigates are twenty-four men. We have a lot of supplies, a lot of equipment. We can, if we want to. I still don't know what design I like the most. I like this one originally, but the gun has zero uh, fire authority or anything on it. It can literally do this teeny tiny little aim. 
So when it's obviously supporting something, it can't fire over here or here. But I love the design. Obviously I've pushed the engine forwards on this one, and I've done this. And I've got obviously more fire on the sides, I'm still not sure I'm happy with it. That's a KF9, we obviously have the KF... KF3. We have a few more different designs, you can see there's one over here of this type, I, was not, I don't like it. There's one over here of this type, I kind of like. I'm sure between this one and this one, between 2 and 3. 12 and 3, 2's dead. But yeah, we have plenty of fighters, we have plenty of equipment. We have resources, we have troops. We are fully exploring the depths of space. Are we going to go well? I don't know. Most of my fleet will be here. I think we're stealing nukes off this thing. Yeah, we're currently stealing nukes and ammo off this one. So we're still gathering resources from the Satan. Satan, C T A N. What was that? What gate? What's that from? Definitely more needles. We have, I think, space for more crew, but no actual crew. So for those who wonder how I'm making it, I'm literally detonating this. That gives me four people. Those four people then go on to become a brand new ship. They are now currently still called Theft, which I find hilarious. You've got the Needler. The Needler Mark One is cheaper than the Needle. Oh, that's because I took out the uh, the hyperdrive. Load this. Again, also save as well while I'm at it. Uh, drag it over to here. And done. There we are. Another ship. Another needle. Transfer two more crew. And we have even more stuff. Of course, we're going to have a few, 200 crew in this bloody thing. Of course, we're still going to have more issues in the future. But, the fleet's going strong. I don't know if I like the Rangers anymore, if I'm honest. I'm looking at them constantly. I don't know what to do with them. I really don't know what to do with them. God, that makes me feel ill. I haven't really used them since I switched out my regular things to be back to cannons. But they exist. They exist. My goal now, of course, is... What is our goal? I don't know what our goal is, actually. My end goal is a big massive battle. No matter what happens, there's going to be a massive fight, full-on fleet. Even if it goes against some kind of super ships, there will be a massive, massive engagement. But, in this one... Really is hard to say, we just don't have the resources. So, we need to... Uh, let see, we have a eliminate Zeno. I don't know what a Zeno is. So I think we're going to say hello to the Zeno. Okay, so F1. So I've been told, because I checked it, if I press F1, it gives you your control. It's control F1, control F2, not control 1, control 2 to make uh, groupings. I have learned in that by being told by Walt, the developer of the game. So I said that should be a feature, and he's like, it is a feature. So I did a dump. The fleet's now slightly more controllable. So you should be control F2, so you're now 2. You should be control F1, so you're 1. Yeah, there we go. So you should be control F3. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, fleet control is significantly better now. Not the best, but better. You guys can control a four. Okay, where's the frenetic? Move up, frenetic. I don't think you're going to be involved in this battle. Okay, so that's the turn still being done. That's support frigates, brand new. So we have five frigates. Uh, all the fighters. Okay, everything is on the way. This gives you a rough idea of how long it takes to get to anything done. Just the remnants of what's left. Uh, 
You guys finished salvaging yet? Nope, you're still stealing nukes. And you're actually stealing the ammo from the actual guns themselves. Madness. Bloody madness. Oh, that's fine. That's KF6. Oh, KF6. I miss you. Miss you, good buddy. Temujin, Temujin. I think there's another KF somewhere over here. Contact! Contact, okay. So we have the warp jump. Okay, so you're just going to straight up jump or it's going to take for too long. But yeah. I want to get further in. We need a lot more resources and we're just not getting them. And that's the problem. God, there's just stuff there. Okay. You need to abandon the ship. Who did you join? Someone told me that you shouldn't ever abandon the ship because then the crew don't go anywhere. The crew, if you abandon the ship, go to the nearest ship. That's what happens. The crew, if you abandon the ship, they go to the nearest ship, they can be part of the crew. So you can abandon a ship dead easily. Right, move up, move up. Advance, advance. Advance, advanced nukes, fighters. Does not feel natural to be pressing the F buttons to make uh, groupings. It's not looking good, Captain. I mean, depends on your view of which piece. I mean, that's not looking good. And the remnants of, you know, this battle's not looking good. Like that one. Or this one with slowly dismantling, they aren't looking good at all. Okay, his engagement. I don't know what a Zeno is. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Engage, engage, engage. Fighters, move, move, move. Right, didn't say someone say something about certain settings? It seems weird that Shogun doesn't have Stupid. those settings on. Where's that? Break formation to attack, turn that off. Show commands for all ships. Yes. Yes, that's what I should have had. Show command handles. So, now I do it. Oh yeah, see, now it actually is done. Cool. Cool. Information I found out three weeks in. You sods. Okay, one is in. One is in. Two is in. Three is moving in. Here we go. Engage, engage. Do I have visual? I do. Oh, it's a nuki! It's a nuki! It's got nukes! Okay, fighters, you need to get out of the way, guys. Actually, if you're going to do some nukes, get involved, get involved, get involved. I need fighters all over this thing right now. That's support. KF9's going down. Oh my gods. KF9 is melted? KF9 survived with a bit of... Lost its engines, that's fine. Okay, KF6, go here. Now, you're in the way. You're literally blocking. Okay, group two, group two. Hit them in the rear. Hit them in the rear of the gear. Group th grouping three, I want you to be behind them like this. There we go. Grouping four. Push. Crush. Hit from the rear. There we go, there we go. Grouping one is there. Grouping two is pushing round to there. Then it'll hit from the side. Grouping three is engaging. Grouping four is engaging. Grouping five is being shot. Please stop shooting the fighters! Okay, ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, you just straight up go to here. You move around to here. Go! 
think KF12 might be dead. KF9's dead. KF9 just got nuked. KF12 just got nuked. Can I out destroy their shield? Let's find out. Okay, if I could hit that, I'd be happy. I think they out beam me. Lofi's coming in. Nukes are coming in. Why is there only... Needle 3's just been nuked. God damn it. I just built Needle 3. Am I out beaming their beam? Don't think I am. Oh, I have so much. I, I don't care about power right now, honestly. The fighters are. But come on, fighters! Mm. Shields are holding, the nukes are doing well. Okay, nu I'm now nuking them. Okay, this squadron should move around to here. How's the nuke squadron? There. The fighters are currently hitting all the missiles. And the autosave is in the way! The autosave is in the way! Okay, the fighters are engaging all the missiles. The fighters are finally doing their bloody job. Frigate Mark 6 is engaging. KF 5 and 10 are holding. I can't believe I lost a needle though. Here come the nukes! Uh, I build my stuff. Yeah, for those who are asking, obviously wondering, I build my stuff so that it has an aesthetic and also that it isn't just, you know, an absolute beast at its job. I could easily build a fighter which has like a shield and multiple point defense. But at that point, it doesn't become a fighter. For me, a fighter, obviously because it's not in the game yet, is a three or four man crew. And even that would probably push it into like a heavy assault ship or a corvette or something. Four men can't really run too much. You could probably like change it to two lasers and probably have to fire them occasionally. But that's why I'm running them as fighters. They are easy to be destroyed. They are not too powerful. But they can, of course, help out in battle. So that's why I do it. They don't have to be the strongest. They have to have a point and they have to look awesomely cool. And you have to admit, having multiple fighters like this firing machine guns, it looks cool. Kill the nuke, kill the nuke, kill the nuke! Did it kill the nuke? Oh, that's close to the shields. Until first shields are down. How are we doing back here? The nukes are reloading. Hello there. Welcome. Okay, the nukes are hitting. We've all oh, the cockpits exposed. Yes! It's down. Now he's a tally up our losses. KF5. KF10 is alive. 7 is alive. 11 is alive. 4 is alive. Johnny5 is alive. The Needles, even though I tried to get involved, did nothing. Needle3 is dead. Needle3 had a grand total of... 20 minutes alive? 10 minutes alive? And the ostrich I never actually used. I like that ship. I like that ship a lot. Um, all the shoot and defend options are actually active on the fighters. That's why they're firing uh, constantly. Like, I, I have made sure, like, yeah, this... Oh, this one isn't! This must be the latest one. Which number are you? Was it not safe? They're meant to all be firing, shoot and defend. 
Just that one. Oh, oh well. Hello there, Yaron. Hello, Max. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. So now we have an issue. We have this battlefield with three more dead fighters. We have this battlefield with three dead super ships, which I'm still salvaging. Ah. So two more fighters are dead. Okay, transfer the crew over. Uh. I didn't send in the last frigate either. Send it, send the crew over. Just a good mothership. Needle three is dead. Needle four. Needle four. Oh, mothership would be needle five because needle one and two are dead. Hello, Jewel. I'm not saying the words. I'm going to say it wrong. I'm not going to swear. You're not going to get me. Okay, so you two are now out of crew. Okay, you, warp, grab more crew. You, warp, grab more crew. Okay, so this battlefield is still being salvaged. By a lot. So we salvaged by an awful lot. This battlefield, I must have sent the transports over, I think. Okay, the bomber craft are still okay. They are still loaded with five nukes each. So they can have a grand total of, what is it, 60 storage, one in the chamber. It's 12 to fire, so they have a grand total of six shots, I think. No, 72, that'd be. Yeah, they have a total of uh, seven shots. Okay, you, send the crew over. Uh, send one crew over to go and have a look inside the thing. So town is dead still. Mothership, needle, lost rich. What do you call it, a Vega? Zeno. Send one over to the Zeno. Can't send over to the Zeno. No airlocks? No airlocks? I can't take it. Monday is indeed finally the day. I will actually be making some tutorials for this game very soon. As in, literally, I should be, I'm doing them as we speak. So you're five. Need, need all five. Don't know if they're going to be good, don't know if anyone's going to watch them, but I'm going to make them anyway, sod it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Don't do what I did and make loads of ships, otherwise you'll be mourning the losses of ships. How many reactor components or enriched uranium is here? Three. Uh, almost half back. Needle, needle three. R.I.P. Still crew in it. Well, you're going to be Needle 6, I guess, now. I'm going to rebuild you. You'll be Needle 6. Uh. Looks sounds like everyone's taking a holiday off purely for Cosmo Tear. That will be interesting. Do not get caught. Okay. So I sent in seven fighters. Five came back. Fully repaired. Did you lose anyone? Lost two people. Actually, you're the one, they're the ones who boarded. And you should be full of EMP missiles. There we go. 
yeah, there's also been some new weapons added as well. They're going to keep doing a lot more things. So hopefully good stuff happens. Actually, where's my transports? Just don't do what I do and have massive numbers of ships. Get that in. Grab more crew. Another 20 for you. Got 1.4 million. Do I even care about money anymore? There's still another, like... I could buy everyone on this station and still have more crew. Uh, the needles do fire pretty well. The only problem was they weren't in the way of combat. Because they, they literally weren't actually in combat. One got hit by a stray nuke. I could. Actually, I might actually. Now I'm looking at it, where are they? Where are the needles? There they are. So, one way of altering the needles would be to do this. And now, now it has a better degree of fire. But the problem with doing this, of course, means it has an even bigger open front. So, we could give it a test like that, see how they do, but yeah. Now, of course, they are just more open to the elements, as we say in the trade. Well, I bet you that cookie will bloody crumble. Okay, this ship's nearly done. This is now Needle 6. <sighs> Rest in peace, Needle 3. If the cockpit dies, you die. That's the rules. The captain goes down with the ship. The two crew in the back, they were just laser. There we go. Number 6. So not too bad a loss. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I could do, I guess. Needles are on the other, on the other direction. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe. Oops. Maybe. Then the side looks weird like ducks. Let's leave it like that for now. Because they die quickly anyway. We'll get the needles back up. The fighters, of course, are super snackrificial. I can't even figure out where, this, where this, they died. But now, of course, we have even more supplies, even more resources. This is still salvaging over here. Do I want a Temujin? Do you think I deserve a Temujin? It's not well set up, is it? It might be. No, it's not. It's meant to have a two to one ratio. Yeah, it's meant to have a two to one ratio, which means let's have those two beams hit that. And those two no, maybe those two beams hit that, those two beams hit oh, no, it wouldn't work. It's a children man crew. I mean, we're at the end stage. I'm highly debating just going... Oh, and I did. And suddenly, I have a Temujin. Which, if the entire crew of the mothership gets involved, I now have it active. However, the actual weapon ports appear to be wrong. Yeah, all of you crew, get out. Every single one of you, get out. There's the exit. It's just so much. Even though I've done all of that, there's still... What have I cleared it? Nope, there's still more supplies over there. Okay, that has taken a vast chunk of my resources, but as you can see, we saw so much enriched uranium, so many supplies, a lot less steel at least, and a lot less copper coils. But, we still have enough for many, many more ships. Oh, sort of abandoned you, yeah. That's oh, just so much. Uh, the Z v Zevo? Vito was the triple beamer? 
But yeah, I'm trying to set up. You're meant to have a two to one ratio. I've been told a couple of times in different ways how to make ships. And a lot of what people say is wrong. Because if I go alt over the beam, you see that beam fall off? It's 100% for one beam, 75% for two beams. It's 56% for three beams touching one prism. That's a massive fallout for just having three beams touch one prism. See, four beams is 40. Five beams, you only get 30% of the main attack. So you only want a two beam at most touching each one. They're like two beams touching there and two beams touching there. So this is two, this is two. So you want these two to connect to something over here without them touching one of these. Because if I touch one of these, that makes this a three beam. Which means I'm losing a lot of power. So I've been learning a lot about beams lately. Telling an awful lot about beams lately. I actually do like the ship design. Colour scheme isn't my kind of thing, mainly because I think I'd go for a lot more dark. But I do like the ship. Uh, that's, I'll have to get some people in the actual cockpit to work this thing. Alright, let's transfer 30 crew over. It's a Zeno. Let's transfer 40 crew over. Let's get this thing bloody working. Then we're going to get these two over. Oh my god, it's going to take forever. It's going to take absolutely forever. Yeah. It depends on the range, it depends on what you're doing, but you still get a massive, massive fallout using multiple beams to touch one thing. If you want to, you can have two, you know, two final beams touching another beam, but it's you still don't really want multiple beams touching one thing, because that fallout will will hurt you. It'd almost be worthwhile destroying chunks of it, because let's say how much does damage these things? If each one of these is doing like two and a half thousand damage a second. And obviously, the far is already losing like a half. If you're losing a half, then you're using a half again, you're doing 600 damage. Which means three of these is only just doing as much as one beam at close range. So you really, really don't want to, you know, do that. Problem is, how's this meant to be set up? There? Oh, it might actually be set up properly. Look at that! It's actually set up properly. So it is a triple beamer, is it? It is a triple beamer, you were correct. It is actually set up. You can never tell, the AI currently breaks these things in game. Just making sure, because like I say, a lot of the time this does break. We've got three big shields in the centre. No, two big shields, three small shields. A load of nukes. Which aren't set up? Interesting. I'm genuinely debating removing the nukes and just having regular ammo. Uh, no, how it's set up, these two final ones hit the central one, it is a triple beamer. Like you said, it is a triple beam. Okay, salvage is ongoing. Lags happening because we have fleets in multiple places. There's not even much I could do over here right now. But obviously, I need to mark where this is. Ammo is looking okay. Ammo's looking okay. Okay, good.
I'm obviously going to have to do a Renegade Pack Bounty. What I've, been, what I've learned in this is you have to hit multiple targets at once. Okay, leave one of the fighter craft here to mark it. Everything else gets to move. Yeah, you can see the lag happening already. Yeah, you can see the lag happening, bloody hell. Okay, you two both go over to here. You're going to start harvesting the Zeno. KF10, hold it. U4, push out. Which two did I lose? Is it 9 and 4? I think it was 9 and 4. And obviously, we have the big ship over here. Still bits of ship. What amuses me is the fact we basically destroyed an entire ship. And then use two other ships to repair it. So everything in this battle, we got more resources out of it. Built ourselves a ship we stole. And now we have a ship. Does it actually need two of the crew? Needs a lot more crew. Okay. Optimization is key. Stop it. Have you guys been watching my series up till now, or did you, you saw Cosmeteer as a as a, um, as a stream and thought, let's have a look? Because obviously a lot of a lot of times I put it in the background of this bloody game, a lot of bloody time, I'm starting to feel burnout. <laughs> Blowing up several others. Actually, if I remember correctly, it was two big ships. No, it was four tier tens. Was it three tier? Three tier 10s, one tier 15, and about five tier 5s? And we've melted them all down and built a ship out of them. How have you been finding it? Like I say, I put checks. Uh. 125 hours into this game so far. 125 bloody hours. And for those curious, I'm doing a multiplayer series too. A noob's guide to multiplayer, I'm calling it. Or a noob's first steps to multiplayer. So me and another YouTuber, Coco Plays, have been doing multiplayer. We would have been doing it more today, but Biotech released for RimWorld. And now they're what? Playing RimWorld. Bloody traitor. Wait, this bounty is four. For 15, for four, that's... That's probably a rank 15 and three rank 10s. Oof. Okay, if I want to... Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I can't do speed aids anymore. I'm getting so much slow down. We put about three hours in it. If I remember correctly, our ship design was... Not the best. They're not the best. It's got old fighter bombers. And yeah, I like the fighter bomber more than my current ships. Yeah, you can see the slowdown right there. This one time speed, I'd say, is about a half speed right now. Oh. But yeah, I, I literally don't have the three hours it would take, as you can tell, from doing this. I'm out of time. For me to get an episode out today for this, just me salvaging and building that ship, that has taken 40 minutes. 
for me to engage this over here, then this over here, just in the background, for those two fights. Those two fights will be five minutes each. We'll be looking at probably an hour two's prep. I just don't have the time today. Why is KT1 out of position? For those who are curious, multiplayer, Cosmeteer is four person cooperative. You share resources from the missions. Anything you sell yourself is personally yours. Reputation is shared as is crew numbers. So we have 40 available crew unlocked. Everyone would get, you know, there's four of your 10 each, there's two of your 20 each. So everything is shared except, you know, obviously your crew losses and your individual money. But yeah, it's four person. And even though we did actually, in fact, have a server crash, I could immediately load a save, which I saved when he lost connection, and we just carried on playing. So the save system is very good for multiplayer. Wait, is it Tamujin moving? <laughs> Wait, that's a Tamujin. Oh, they're next to a Tamujin. I was like, why does... Oh, that's badly damaged. There's a piece missing from that thing. Yeah, we literally made a joke about Paradox. We literally made a joke about Paradox. I like Stellaris, but my god, the system for that is absolute crap. People defend it, but my god, it was a trash heap. You're lucky if you connected at times, you got disconnects all over the bloody place. Loading up a save as a pot look. <laughs> I think it nuked itself. No, that's not a nuke or nuke. Oh, there's a nuke missing up here too. What are you looking at? Two nukes missing. Three shield generators missing. The fact that that's all it's lost suggests it really did well against the pirates. But you know, where are you going? Just hanging out. This is also another reason why I'm looking at ending the series soon. It is getting woefully slow. Any other series I'm going to do is going to be lesser numbers, I think. You know, like big, much bigger ships as opposed to little fighters and so on. I like the fighters, but my gods, it's been difficult. Uh, have you salvaged everything? Uh, nope! There's still an entire patch of dead ship over here. Here's the Vegas! <laughs> oh, okay, you two just stick with the mothership. Can you jump? No. Okay, you begin your long journey to the station. Yeah, this is a significant slowdown, I'd say. What is it? Monday release? One more episode of building and rebuilding up. Final episode, massive fleet on fleet battle. Monday, start releasing the multiplayer stuff. Um, it's per beam per prism. So you're still, so you're still going to be losing another twenty five percent. So if you have two beams here hitting this, that you lose twenty five percent, and this one here is losing twenty five percent. So you'd be saying twenty five hundred, five thousand, five thousand, uh, thirty seven fifty. 
7500. So you get seven, so four beams would be 7500 with just these two alone. Then they hit this one. Then you'd have the 7500 also then touch a 25% penalty. But obviously then they'd have another, so then that'd be like... So yeah, you still get the penalty, but it's per beam hitting the target. If it's just beam to beam to beam to beam, you're not losing anything. It's just, you know, eh. But yeah, one to one to one to one, it's uh, not very efficient, but you can do it. What you don't want is one to three to one to three to one to three or something, because obviously then it starts counting extra beams. But yeah, it's like 25% every double beam hitting a prism, so this... This one here is literally counting these two as two targets. So it's per beam, not per meter. Yes. Basically, simple terms, every edition gets, uh, gets tougher. But, so that's why everyone you see in these kind of beam ships tries to do two to one. And then they kind of keep it two to one. Because, like I say... A 3 to 1, losing nearly 50% every single set, that's basically useless. And like 5 beams touching because you're doing something weird, you know, 30%, that's a massive loss. You might as well just delete some of the lasers. <laughs> 60 meters a second, you're faster than my stuff, you're faster than my fighters. I have 1.4 million. If I wanted to, I could still massively build up another fleet. And people are telling me that I'm just wasting money. I'm like, yeah, probably am. But I have 1.4 million. I just salvaged a brand new ship. And I still have enough resources on this thing to build another 10 or so frigates. Maybe another 20 frigates. I don't care. I am the god of waste. I will waste everything in the pursuit of... Just sheer wave number tactics. Oh, here's a dead Vega. Even more reactor components, yes! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, why do you use... Why? Your fighters aren't very efficient, Shogun. I know. I can still replace them faster than I can talk about them. Yes, I was. Yes, according to the actual rules, Max. The, the seven to eight uh, lasers. It should be a one to one. According to the actual stats. The actual stats very clearly state one beam, 100% damage. It even says here that the combined fall off here is 25%. It even tells you. That's where I'm at. The combined fall off of this one is 25% a beam. So I'm only using 25% for this and this. Ooh. Wait, that's four beams, isn't it? Oh, I've done something dumb. This is four beams touching. This is actually a stupid build. No wonder I'm not doing as much damage. That's a four beam. Bugger. It actually doesn't tell you about the combined fallout, does it? That should be like that should be forty-two percent. Okay, I've just seen an issue with this. I need to sort this out. Do I have any resources to do it? No. Ah. Uh... God damn it. So now I need to. I need my frenetic to jump to the station. I need to buy some some uh, crystals. Bugger! I knew it wasn't firing as powerful as it should. Oh my god, I get better if I'm looking here. So yeah. Oh my god, that slow down. Maybe should have the maybe should have the end episode tomorrow. <laughs> Cause this is getting almost unplayable. It 
It's actually better when the whole fleet's together. Because obviously right now they're, they're trying to load a lot. Okay. You. Stop being useless. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. It's got, oh, it's got no crystals! It's got no bloody crystals! Okay, sod it. Buy resources. Buy all of that now. There's no crystals on the storage. God damn it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll be honest, this might not be watchable anymore, so I might consider ending this and call it the episode. But that's a chat about how things are going. I need to do more stuff. You do not want four beams in one. How did I not spot that earlier? It's got a delete there. I used to have two beams. I'm a moron. But yeah, you don't want more than four beams in one. It's such a waste of resources. So yeah, we always want to make sure, obviously, you know, your lasers are good. Oh, make it so. It's finally worked. Okay, good. Someone finally sold some lasers. Go to there. Go to there. Go to... Go to there. Is it target? Control P. There we go. But yeah, this this is uh, this slowdown is uh, bad. Contact? No, it's fine. That's my decisions. That's my choices. I am. Yeah, I am going to end this here. This is getting to the extremely, extremely bad slowdown rate. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to get the guides prepped. I'm going to get the actual rest end of the series done. And, uh, yeah. Last two episodes of this series will be here over the weekend. Multiplayer series hopefully on Monday. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the game on Monday. And if my guide is up and running and you guys like the guide... Please, don't forget about me. Please, never forget about the poor Widow Shogun. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Take care. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. Get a new one. You'll yeah, we'll definitely get a new one. You'll we'll definitely, definitely get a new one. But take care. Goodbye. Da -da 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 -da. Where's the end button? End button? Uh... Oh no, my computer's froze. Stream? 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 Oh, come on! Don't freeze when I push your button! <laughs> Is it working? Are we finally over? Is it doing something?